Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I have a haul, and I'm excited about this one. It is Thanksgiving Day, so this is my Sephora B.I.B. sale haul. I actually bought some stuff online, and then I was out of town, and there was an outlet that had a Sephora store, and it was five minutes from where I was staying, so your girl had to make a trip. So we, we did some damage. Yeah, we did some damage. I didn't shop the sale in April, and I guess I lost my mind and made up for it. This is a $1,000 haul, y'all. Between the two or three orders trip, it, it's a lot. But I'm so excited about everything I got. And I got some sale stuff, too. So I won't keep you waiting. We're going to jump into the video. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button and join the family. Beauty, hair, nails, makeup, all that stuff. A little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So... We do a lot of good stuff on this channel. If you want to know what I picked up at the store and why it costs so much, stay tuned and keep on watching. So we have two boxes and a bag. One of the boxes is in here because I used most of this stuff on my face today so I'm kind of I'm kind of gonna give you like a first impressions also haul I don't normally do that but I really wanted to try this stuff and also if I didn't like it I literally have like three days to bring it back so I needed to see if I was gonna like it or not but we're gonna start with the bag the first thing I picked up is this the rudest bio brew fermented strengthening hair serum my hair has actually been doing really really well but I've said this so many times before my regimen is treating my hair like it's damaged all the time this was pretty expensive I think it was like 48 bucks something like that but it's for weak or damaged hair and for normal to dry scalps I do feel like my scalp has been a bit drier and especially now with it being colder like we don't do flakes on the black shirts so just wanted to see if this was going to help with length or I've also noticed my hair is getting longer happy about that but I'm starting to notice like a little more breakage as opposed to shedding from the root it's always something but so that was my whole reason for wanting to try this out so hopefully it works well you just spray it on your scalp and then also the lengths of your hair let me know if y'all have tried this or heard of this brand Next, I picked up a product that I already have in my collection. So this is a backup. This is the Grande Brow 2-in-1. This is the Tinted Gel and Brow Enhancing Serum. I use this on my gym days when I don't want my brows to look sculpted and I'm not doing a lot of makeup. It just helps to darken them, to set them in place. And then I might draw in the tail. I might not. I've been wearing so much less makeup now when I go to the gym because I've been fe feeling better about my skin. But this is tinted and it also is supposed to help your hair grow, your brow hairs grow and look thicker over time. So it's kind of like a treatment and a setting gel all in one. I picked this up in the color dark brown or dark. Yeah, it's just dark and it says it's an eight week supply. Um, like I said, I have this already and I've had it in my collection for a while. It's currently in my bathroom and I use it so you can see their little before and after. I think it works well. I've gotten to the point to where now I can just use this before I used to use it and then fill in the tail. And now I'm just using this. So I don't know if it's from this or what. I also started implementing castor oil on my brows. So could be several things, but I'm liking how it's working. Next, this I bought online and I wasn't sure about the color. It was on sale. This is the Rose Ink Soft Light Skin Smoothing Liquid Foundation. They were running low on shades. I guess this brand is leaving Sephora. I'm not sure what. They had concealer. They had lip products, which I also picked up one of the lip products. But I'm not sure about this shade, so I definitely needed to check it out. This is in the shade 24W, which is a medium deep warm. This is, this is the packaging, and I think this is so cute and kind of looks. It's giving me like... Rare Beauty vibes a little bit, but this I think was $48 on sale for $24. And you have this pump. Better come with a pump. If foundation doesn't come with a pump these days, like, are we even trying it? I feel like this is going to be a little light. 
Ooh, that's light. Can you even see that? Y'all probably like Barbara. That's y'all shade. That's your shade. Listen, we know how I do my foundations. Don't give me any grief. Um, <laughs> you know, it's light. And the last time I wore a light foundation that I tried to make work. Mm -mm. I don't like it. And it's also yellow. Yeah, no, we're probably going to bring that back. And I would say that I'm going to reorder it. But when I ordered it, it was the sale price plus 20% off. And now it would just be the sale price. And I don't know if that's enough of a discount. <sighs> I kind of want to try it because if I don't even like how it wears, then it doesn't pay to order it in a darker shade. But I don't know. Have y'all tried this brand at all? It's kind of, I feel kind of bad. Like it's already about to leave Sephora and like this is my first time trying it. So I don't know. I'm going to hold this out and maybe try to see if I can work with it tomorrow to get it to dry down. See, does it oxidize? All that good stuff. I picked up a product from Too Faced and I feel like I haven't shopped their stuff in a while. This is their Hangover RX Pillow Balm. So I pretty much just got this as another nighttime lip treatment. I've been using the Fenty Beauty one that comes in the little tub. I've also still been using my Laneige. I think those are the main ones. I hope this does not plump because you don't need that when you're going to bed. Now, y'all, they always get me with their packaging. So this says, this luxuriously rich and creamy balm is infused with an ultra-charged blend of minerals sourced from real falling stars. Okay. Anyway, fruit oils, conditioning butters, coconut water, and hyaluronic acid. So this is in watermelon. So this is what it looks like. I will probably try this at night, but I want to make sure it's clear because I don't want it on my pillowcases. So I'm gonna just swatch a little bit on the back of my hand. Yeah, she's clear. She's pretty thick too. Definitely smells like watermelon, which I'm not mad at. You can see a little bit of color to it. It is very light, but just thought I would try it. I think this was on sale as well. And then the 20% off. I picked up a product. <laughs> I picked this up because I was like, ooh, that's something I haven't tried before. And it looks promising. And then I looked in my collection and I have it already. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. What threw me off was this says it's always on Radiant Skin Tint. And so I was like, Radiant, the one I have is matte and it stays on so i need to try the radiant one there is only one and the one i have is radiant as well the shade that i have is deep two this is deep three uh this is dark this is definitely dark so i don't know if i want to keep it it was on sale plus the 20 percent off so part of me is kind of like just keep it and you can use it as a mixer and then of course you know if you have been following me for a while I don't like to mix stuff that is not what I do I am a purist with my makeup I want it to match when I try it on I just remember I tried this and I loved how it wore I loved the coverage for as thin as it is but clearly that is way too dark so it's going to be more of a do I want to use it to mix with other foundations that are too light because I do have some like that one I just tried, but then, well, this one says Radiant, and that one is a Radiant Soft Light. So maybe I won't change the formula too much. I don't know. This was only $14, so part of me's like, and the 20% off, so part of me's like, just keep it, but that is literally how my collection has gotten the size it is. Finding stuff on sale, and eh, doesn't really work. Let me get something else and mix it, and then you have this collection of stuff, and you're just like, how did we get here? <laughs> Next, I picked up the Olaplex number no. five leave-in. So this is a moisturize and mending leave-in conditioner. I love the Olaplex line. I've tried the number no. three, I've tried, which is the pre-treatment. I've tried the number no. six, which is the bonding cream. I have not tried the shampoo and the conditioner just because I have other ones that I have already and I like them. But anytime they come out with something else that's kind of a treatment, I'm just, 
kind of curious and I want to try it. So the fact that this says it helps to mend split ends. Well, moisturizing men. I don't know if it says split ends specific. Yeah, it does. Revives hair, seals split ends, and protects from future damage. So we'll see. Because like I said, my hair has been breaking a little bit, just shorter pieces from the ends. And so I'm hoping that this will kind of help combat that so that we can keep growing. Because I feel like this is about the length that my hair gets before it starts acting stupid again and I end up chopping it. So... We're trying to hit a new PR in the hair length department. Give me a second, y'all. I um, had my little wine. I ate my little Thanksgiving lunch. Got my little wine. And if y'all want to know, love Pinot Noir. That is, if you're new to wine, it is not sweet. I don't like sweet wines. This is a, Pinot Noirs are good for if you are eating seafood or you were eating red meat. So it's a good general if you like reds. I love this one. This is by the brand Miomi. It is so inexpensive for how good it tastes. And like other people who are wine connoisseurs have said the same thing. And they've even tried to like recommend, oh, if you like that, here's a higher end brand that'll taste just as good. And it does not. This one has a little punch to it. Like it has a lot of body. It's not thin. And I just love it. So yeah, enough about that. Back to the makeup. I also picked up one of the Ole Henriksen Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatments. This I remember buying in the store and it was literally just, I walked around the store for two hours and I don't know if they were about to close, but there was a sales rep who helped me with foundations. And then she just kind of followed me around the store talking and swatching and trying stuff. I had so much fun. And then she asked me to fill my haul. So here it is. Um, but this was more kind of just like a, let's look at what's new and has high reviews and let's try it. I wanted, they had a shade creme brulee, but it was out of stock in store. So I just grabbed this one, which is cocoa cream. So it does have a little bit of color to it, as you can see right there. But I feel like because I always line my lips, I don't want to use something that's just clear because most of my lip liners are brown and then it just looks weird with a brown lip and then gloss. So I want it to kind of blend a little bit. So it's good to have something that has a little coverage to help even everything out and make it look more blended and seamless as opposed to just a line and some lip gloss. I picked up two of the Sephora brand Best Skin Ever Concealers. So the one that I wear all the time under my eyes, on my face, like this is one of my holy grails now, is in shade 35N. I actually dropped it and broke, like the top completely broke off, but I'm literally like scraping the sides of it. And it is not often with as much makeup as I have to go through something. So I was like, oh crap, I need to get another one of those. This is like my perfect, if I don't wanna wear makeup, I will just put a light little bit of this under my eyes and blend it out and I'll put a little setting powder and I can go and I feel like it doesn't look too bright but it covers my under eye circles just enough to help me look a little more awake but not look like I have a bunch of makeup on and because I love the formula I was like let me try a lighter shade so I got 34 and a half in but it is just crazy to me I shouldn't have blended out that other one how different how light the shades are compared to each other. Like this is literally a half step in your numbering system, but I'll put that back. Look at that. That's not even close. So I'm not sure I'm going to keep this one because it also it's, that's just really light. And I have other light concealers that I really like. Actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer is one of my favorites too. And the one I have is really light. So I'm probably going to bring this one back. I did not expect it to be, you know what I'm lying. Cause I tried it in the store and I was like, maybe I can make it work and it's 30% off, but yeah, we're not doing that. So I'm gonna probably bring this one back, but I definitely needed 35 in. While we're swatching stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and go through the other foundations I picked up. I have four, <laughs> four more. The first one, this is also a brand that I think, or is like out the door for Sephora. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Concealer. I have the other that was more for matte. 
And lately I have not been liking to wear matte foundations as much. And especially because it's cold. Like right now my skin has a little dew to it. And I'm okay with it. Like I feel like when I wear super matte stuff, it just accents all of the lines on my face. So I've been trying to get away from that. And since my skin is pretty much normal now, uh, during the summer I might have some oils come through, but that's also just heat and sweat. Um, I kind of am gravitating more towards normal or radiant foundations instead of just matte. But this looks exactly like the other one. I got the same shade, 430 Cedar which is also a neutral. The other one is actually in my bathroom on my vanity because I pulled it out to try it again. But y'all know this is like my perfect shade, has a little bit of neutral to it, even though clearly your girl is yellow, but I don't wanna be. We already talked about this. So we do neutral, we lighten up with concealer and we go about our business. So I just am curious at how this one's gonna wear compared to the other one. I'm gonna leave that try to leave it and swatch remember to swatch on the other side um to see how this dries down but I can definitely see I'm wondering if that's going to dry down or does that stay glowy like that we're going to leave it and we're going to see the next foundation I'm actually wearing right now this is the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation I got the shade Chocolate Mousse 450G I thought this was going to be too light for me and I almost picked up one of the darker ones but then when I was in the store swatching them I felt like this was the closest and once this dried down like I still feel like it's a little dark and I could probably lighten up with some powder but it's good enough this is the shade I like to be um <laughs> but I actually really like this I tried it with her primer which I will show y'all in a second because I do have that as well so that is what on what's on my face today her primer and this foundation and then I set with my Patrick Star powder, the one size powder. But I will say when I tried this on, I did not expect it to be as dark as it is and it did look yellow. So I had to put a powder that was yellow but a little neutral to help kind of lighten it up and balance it out a little bit. So like here matches, here matches and then everything else. Like I could probably put some here but we're not trying to accent the strong jaws. So this is what the shade looks like on the back of my hand. And like I said, it's what I'm wearing on my face and I do feel like this looks so smooth. My forehead, I don't know how I feel about it because I did have to smooth it out and then like pack on powder to try to get it from creasing because I felt like it was creasing a lot. But I also was struggling with my lashes and kept raising my eyebrows, so maybe that's why. Who knows, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like, like I feel like all these, once I blend them out, you can still see the shade, like the undertone. It looks a little dark, but I would rather, like I said, look a little dark and be able to lighten it versus too light and it looks gray. I don't think this is drying down anymore. So that's that foundation here. The other foundation I got, this was another one. I was struggling with shades. I ordered one and then thought it was, I went into the store and I saw the display and then swatched the one that I ordered. And I was like, hell nah, that is gonna be way too light. So I picked up the next darkest shade and this one's gonna be too dark. So I don't know if I'm keeping this or I'm just gonna bring it back. I just really wanted to try this, 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 this. This is the one size Turn Up The Base Full Beat Liquid Foundation. I saw so many people posting about how great it was. So we all know me, if it's a foundation or a primer, I wanna try it. This first one is in the shade Dark Deep 15, which is a golden olive. In my head, I think that's really what my skin tone is in real life. I just rarely ever find this tone in a foundation. But then I'm gonna swatch this and maybe y'all are gonna tell me I'm wrong. So who knows? This does come with a pump. It's his standard shiny red packaging. Okay, so we're gonna put this, put it next to the other one. That is way too light. Girl, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. That is definitely going back. No ifs, ands, buts about it. That is not my shade. It says it's full coverage, soft matte, waterproof and sweat proof, long wear, weightless, won't clog your pores. 
My thing is when you have a full coverage foundation, your shade has to get to be a closer match because otherwise, especially if it's light, it's going to look like a mask. And what's crazy, it, lo it looks like that literally just blended into my skin. Do y'all even see it? I mean, you can see the undertone of it. And I think, is that not wild? That looks like my skin color. Let me show you the other one. This is Dark Deep 25 Neutral. I'm trying to pump out just a little bit so I don't waste it. And I'm gonna put it next to this other one. Yeah, we still going with that one. I don't care. So that's the light one. And then this is one, if this one was literally like the next shade up. I don't like this. I don't like it. This actually looks better in terms of not being too dark. Yeah, so even compared to this one, she's dark. <sighs> but there's no middle shade and I wanna try this foundation. So that's how that works. So I'm probably, Damn, I don't have a lot of time and I should have tried these sooner, but I was waiting to do my haul. I'm definitely not keeping that light one. If I had to keep the light one or just not keep one at all, it's all going back. That's just crazy though. It literally looks like foundation, nothing foundation. <laughs> oh God. Okay, let's move on. Um, the next one I got, Patrick Ta, I picked up his Major Skin Hydro Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. I'm actually going to put this on this side because I want y'all to see after this sets, it is definitely luminous. There is no question about it. Like, make sure that's dry. I got this in the shade 20 Golden. And I got a sample of this one and I wore it and I like it. I was surprised that I was actually going to like it. This is so heavy and so luxe. And looking at it in here, I was like, yeah, this kind of reminds me of NARS a little bit. I don't know if it's the packaging or the square bottle, but that's the vibe it was giving me. Put a tiny little bit of this. But even though this says it's golden, it's still giving me like that... It's definitely more golden than this one, but I still feel like it's not, maybe because it's not too light. I actually really like the shade of this, but I'm gonna let this sit. I'm just gonna pat it to blend it out a little bit so you guys can see this one says luminous, we see it. I'm gonna show you this one when it dries down. I think it's about the same or it's gonna stay that shiny compared to what we have over here. Although you looking a little luminous too. This is supposed to be radiant, but you can tell it dried down a lot more. So I'm going to let all these sit, show you again, but these are all supposed to be more luminous, radiant foundations. Next, I picked up some lashes and one of these, I think I ordered these online and these are all the same, um, but they were $6 and that was on sale for half off. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Minis. I've had these in my collection before and I love, love, love the shape of these. They're not too long. They're not too big. So I picked up five of them, <laughs> five or six. It's just five, I think. Um, but these were on sale, like I said, for $6 and then the 20% off. So $5 for a good pair of lashes. You can't really beat that. And like I said, these, I don't even think I have to cut these. Like these are just these are really, really good. I remember the first time I tried these, I had trouble putting them on using lash glue on the band, but now that I have my liner adhesive, I think it's gonna be better. So I hope so, because I bought five pairs of them. I also bought two of the Sephora line, and these look very similar, maybe not as full. These are the Everyday Flare Weightless False Lashes. And these were 30% off, so I did get two of them. I love a good wispy lash with a flare. And these, the band isn't thick. Like, I just feel like these would be really easy to wear with my liner. So, picked up those. I also picked up these Velour Effortless Lashes. Is there a name of these? Would I Lie? I like that these, I think these are a half lash. 
I don't know, they look really small. I feel like I don't do well because my eyes are a little downturned. I don't do well with lashes that I have to put all the way here. So usually before I started cutting them and they were longer, I would literally just like glue them to my lid <laughs> more in a cat eye shape. Now with these, I can kind of just stop them instead of going all the way to the edge of my eye and it won't make my eye look droopy. So just thought I would try these. I don't remember how much they were, but these I think were only the 20% off. Two more sets of lashes. These are also the Sephora line and these are the Essential False Lash. I got Swanky and Charming. So this is Swanky, this is Charming. Swanky I've also had before and I like it because instead of it being like that cat eye, it gives you more volume and length in the middle, which I think is perfect for my droopy eyes, kind of lifts them here more in the middle. And then can't miss me with a flared wispy lash and she's gonna have to be cut. I could tell she looks long, like I'm probably cut off that whole little piece right there. So, but I like the fullness of these and the wispiness. I picked up a perfume and this I had seen when it released. And then I was just like, you don't need it, you don't need it. But they had a little one, so I decided to go ahead and try it. And I freaking love it. This is the Kayali, the Wedding Silk Santal 36. Yes, y'all. It says the keynotes in here are sparkling champagne, white freesia, pink, prink, pink, praline, lush nectarine, sandalwood, and sugared musk. This is warm and you do smell the sandalwood, but it's like, oh, this smells so good. It is definitely sweet. But the musk of it, matter of fact, I don't have anything on right now. So we're about to, I put this on and I was just like, oh my God, now I wish I would have got the bigger one. This smells so good. It's, it's not Baccarat Rouge. It is not, but it's kind of giving, I smell a little bit of that. And then I also smell some Burberry Her. But I don't know. It's just, it's like a mixture of all my favorite perfumes in here so i'm not gonna lie if i see another sale i'm getting a big one of these i picked up a primer this is the merit great skin priming moisturizer when i swatched this in the store it was thick and i don't think it has silicone in it but it did kind of give like a smoothing effect that i was like oh this will work really well with makeup and i was thinking that it was going to be similar to the smashbox primerizer which i do have in my collection so uh, as soon as I got home, I was like, let me swatch and see. It is not the same. Primerizer is a lot more liquid and feels legit like a moisturizer versus this one feels like a primer. So I thought this would be perfect to wear under my Danessa Myricks Beauty Blur Balm. Um, that's what I wear to the gym because that dries down to a mat. So moisturizer, put that on top of it. And I think that would be a great little throw on and go combo. But this says it's a lightweight cream that instantly blurs and preps the skin for makeup. And I definitely felt that blurring when I put it on the back of my hand. It says it's designed to be used after their serum, but I didn't get the serum. It'll be all right. I got a sample of this and I tried it and I do like it, so I'm keeping it. I got a sample because I wasn't sure I was going to keep it because it's like $36, I think I remember. But I feel like it's worth it and she's staying in my collection. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all these real quick because they should have dried down by now. So as you can see, these are definitely more radiant. That's the Patrick Ta. This is the, I knew I was gonna do this. Shiseido? Yes, Shiseido. Um, Patrick Star, Patrick Star. Don't make me lie, Huda? I think so, is the order that I'll put those in. So. This is definitely, these two are the most radiant for sure. I do still see a little glow in this, which I'm surprised considering Patrick said his was matte. And then these two look like they dried down. So that's interesting, but I'm gonna wipe these off before I get them everywhere. And I got a few more things that I need to swatch for y'all. Next, I picked up a Give Beauty product. These are also on sale on Sephora's website. This is their balm, Spark the Fire Plumping Lip Balm. This one is in shade LOL, and I think it was the only one that they had, but I found it interesting that it looks like a lipstick. 
like legit looks like a lipstick. And then when you swatch it, there's no color. Like, there's hardly anything. So that was just very intriguing to me when I got it. I was like, I didn't even swatch it. That was my first swatch. But I was like, oh, that's going to have some color. That's the bolt. That's the color right there. So it's definitely a balm, not a gloss, not like a sheer lipstick, anything like that. It is what it says it is. I thought I smelled something from it, but it has a little bit of a smell, but that also might be my makeup wipe. I have another pair of lashes. I think this is the last one. I think this is the Lily Lashes No Glue Needed Body Heat Activated Self Adhesive Band. So I remember showing you a, was it Ilor or Ar Ardell? I think it was Ilor, their self adhesive lashes. And I was in love. And so when I saw these, I was like, okay, I like the shape of these. This lash looks like it is better constructed, high-end lashes. Um, so I wanted to try this to see how it compared to the one I got from the jug store. This one has a dark band though, and it says that it mimics the look of eyeliner, but does say to, to trim it. And then you can actually wear this, it says three to five times. After two to three times of wearing it, it says to clean off the band and you can wear it some more. So I like the shape of these. These are definitely fuller than the ones I got from the drugstore. So hopefully they work. We've got a good bit of stuff. I'm talking, let me get through it fast. The Cali Ray Highlight Beach Gleamy Hybrid Feels Highlighter. This was on sale. I was not checking for it. And then I went to the store and I saw it and I swatched it and it went in my cart. This is what I have on my cheeks today. And when I tell you the lightest application, like this is gleaming. This is called, they say it's a cool champagne highlight. And that is exactly what it is. Like, I feel like it shows a little tiny bit pink, just a tiny, tiny bit. But when I swatched it, it is so smooth. Like I barely stuck my finger in there. That is so pretty. And I know it looks light, but like I said, that's what I have on my face today. And I put it on top of my blush and then I added some blush because it wasn't enough. But I do feel like I was able to work it into the skin and make it more like a lip from within glow instead of just being like she has highlighter sitting on her face. So happy I got this. I think it was 21 was the sale price and then the 20% off. But Cali Ray's products, I actually like them. I heard people raving about the mascara. I'm on the fence about that, but I love her So Blown Primer, which I've gone, that's in my travel bag, and I bought another one. That's how much I love that. So I just wanted to try that to try another one of her products, and I have something else in here. Since I'm talking about it, let's stick with that. I picked up her Liquid Blush. This is the SoCal Super Bloom Lip and Cheek Hydrating Soft Stain. This is in the shade Dawn Patrol. They might have had a shade darker, but I didn't want a berry. So I wanted something that I felt like could be more wearable every day. And it looks pretty dark here in the container. And it looks pretty dark here. And then you swatch it and it looks dark until you blend it out. I have this on my cheeks and when I initially put it on, I was like, this is not enough color. When you blend it out, I like my blush. I like my blush to show. So I did end up putting something else on top of it, but I feel like if I was looking for just like a nice little flush and something that would have some staying power since it's a stain, this is the perfect shade and you can put it on your lips. Like, what are we talking about? And then, like I said, I don't need to take this out. This is the So Blown Primer. I'm not gonna open this right now, but this is the Blurring Collagen Peptide Primer. I'm not gonna open it. I could take it out. I love that this comes in this squeeze tube so it makes it easy to travel with. I definitely feel like this blurs my skin. It helps my foundation to stay on. 
So this is a second purchase of this product for me. Another face product that I picked up is the Semi Haze Beauty Skin Suede Melting Bronze Balm. Yes, <laughs> long name. I have this on my face as well today. And I actually really like this. When I swatched it, this is the deepest shade they have in Maple 05. When I swatched it in the store, I was like, ooh, she's a little deep. But putting it on, I used a brush and I just lightly dipped in it and kind of built it up so it didn't have too much pigment at first, but you could definitely see. I love, this is like a mousse. It's not a balm, so it's not as emollient as, I think the Tantor Huda Beauty is more emollient. Danessa Myricks, um, hers is very emollient. The Ace Beauté one that I used in a video is very emollient. And those just make me nervous because I feel like they're gonna get all over the place when I'm trying to blend them out. So I feel like I had more control. That's if you apply a lot, that's how deep you can get it. I did not and I used a brush I use this brush. So I was able to squeeze it and just kind of put it where I wanted and then lightly buff to blend it out. So I really like this and I do feel like when it dries down, it's gonna look more like a powder, which it does, instead of being just like wet on your face. So pretty happy with this one. I picked up another face product. This was in the sale section. This is the Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush Light and Highlight. So this is a blush and a highlighter in one, and they both are creams. I was thinking about getting this because I was like, oh, I could see myself wearing that. But then when I saw they were both creams, it just made me want it even more. I have no idea what the blush is going to be like, but I saw swatches when I looked at the product of the highlighter and I was like, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that. So that's the blush, it's a little light, but I feel like that could be okay for a spring look and then that's the highlighter there. So I like this because it's gold, but it's not too gold. And this is another one that looks somewhat like lit from within kind of skin. So this was half price and then 20% off. That, a sale will get me to buy something that I would not normally buy. So that's what pretty much pushed me towards picking this one up. I have another foundation I forgot about. <laughs> this is the LYS Triple Fix Serum Skin Tint Stick. Now I have the serum foundation. It is right there. I wanna grab it to see what shade it is. But we're going to look at this because this one's in the shade DN3 and I had to go by online because they did not have this shade in the store. This is what she looks like, which looks like she is going to be a good shade for me. Oh, thank you, baby Jesus, because I was worried. I love this component. But that is the shade right there, which I think is such a good shade. So this if I was not going too dark, is the perfect undertone that I like for me with my shade. So I'm so glad this looks good. Definitely keeping it. I'm just curious how it wears. Let me check my liquid one and see if the shades are the same. Okay, so in the liquid one, this one is in shade DN5. So yeah, she's a little darker. I haven't worn this in a while. Try not to pump out too much, but I will show you the comparison. Big difference. So DN3, definitely more my winter shade. And then this one would be more summer or finesse it and make it work during the winter because y'all know how I do. So if you have this foundation or you've thought about trying it, Maybe comparing these two, you seeing them on my hand might help you make a decision on which would fit best for you, maybe. I did mention this earlier, Huda Beauty Primer, the Easy Blur Primer. This is also what I have on my face today. This reminds me of her, what is it called? Blur Jam, Glow Jam, whichever it is. The one she has in the little pot, this reminds me of that, but it is in a tube. This is pink just like that. I don't know if, yeah, you can see it there on my hand. And it does prime, 
I do feel like it's literally almost the same texture as the Blur Jam. Maybe just a little bit softer since it's not in that solid tub form. But I feel like it definitely smooths. And I do think that it helps. You remember how, okay, so if you've tried the Professional, I never like that because especially having oily skin, even though when you initially put it on, it helped smooth out everything. It had silicone in it. So then I felt like it just slid off your face. This helps to smooth everything out, but it dries down. So it helps your makeup lock into place. So that's the difference with this, considering it's a blurring primer. If you have the Blur Jam, I don't know that you need this, but if you want something that is a little more liquid, easier to apply, then you might like this one better if you didn't like how thick the Blur Jam was. Yes, we still have more products. I told y'all I lost my mind. A lot of this was the stuff that I bought in the store because you know how it is when you're buying stuff in store, like that instant gratification, that's what happened. So this is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Soft Blur Setting Powder. Two of the employees was like, oh, that's my holy grail. Listen, say less, put it in my cards. I picked up the shade Warm Honey. I am going to exchange this for the next lighter shade. When I swatched this and the other shade, I thought that the other shade looked way too light and it was going to look ashy. And even when I swatched this one, I'm going to show you swatching it on my skin. This is the shade here. So it is a yellow, but it's deep. And I should have known better because the girl who I was shopping with is darker complexion than I am and she had it on. And so like, Barbara, why would you do that? But when I did this and I did this, I was like, oh Lord, that's gonna give me a white cast. So this one should be right. But like once I put it on top of my concealer, it pretty much just made everything looked the same and made my concealer look darker. So I am gonna get a lighter shade in this one, but I have it on my forehead. I didn't put it on the rest of my face just because I felt like it was gonna darken everything up. But I can't wait to try the shade that I need with my concealer doing a full face to see how it's gonna wear. Back to one of the products I mentioned earlier. This is the Rose Ink Lip Cream Weightless Matte Color. This is like a mousse. It's in the shade Kiss and Part. Um, it's kind of like a nude, is this a warm? Yeah, I would say this is a, where are we swatching? Let's do her down here. Like a dusty kind of pinkish shade. I have it on my lips, but then I put something else on top of it because I wanted more of a red instead of a pink. But y'all know how I pick nudes and I think it's like a brown nude. It ends up being a pink nude. So it is what it is. This is definitely a shade I would wear because this is what I gravitate towards. But this was on sale for half off plus the 20% off. So only picked up one. This concealer, I have this on my face today and I honestly, I think I'm gonna bring it back. This is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Lift and Flex Concealer. I picked it up in the shade number 11. I put it on today and then I set my face with my Patrick Star Powder, which I always use. And I did not like how my under eyes looked at all. It looked so dry and it was kind of patchy and like, I don't know, even now, like it looks like my mascara. Is this a new mascara? It is a new mascara. My mascara has transferred. So you see these dark spots like that's not something that I normally deal with. I just, it's kind of light already. I swatched other ones and the other ones were too dark. I'm just not, like my first impression of this was not good. I have other concealers that are already too light. So I just don't feel like I need to keep this. And considering that I prepped my skin the same way as I normally do, everything the same, I don't know what it was, but I just did not like how my under eyes looked. So I'm probably gonna bring this back. But I'm not bringing this back. This is another Danessa Myricks product. This is one of her Color Fix mattes. This one is in the shade Chocolate. I don't know what made me buy this. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I swatched it. And just the chocolate goodness of this, I was just like, oh my God. I have Desert Rose and I love it on my cheeks. I love it on my eyes. I love it on my lips. So I was like, you know, I wonder 
if this would look good as like a deepening shade for the eyes. I'm trying to draw my hand off so y'all can see because I definitely want to swatch this. When I tell you this is dark, like I have this as my under eye liner today. I did not use eyeliner. I just smudged this under my eye. Like look at how pretty that is. It's like a reddish chocolate burgundy-ish chocolate like she is dark this is what is in my crease and then also underneath my eyes and I was just floored when I was in the store swatching this like how deep it was so I don't know how I thought I was going to be able to just put this as like a one and done shade in my crease with as dark as it was I tried in the video you guys will see did not work I had to go with some more to blend it out some other shades but Either way, I'm definitely keeping that. I love the shade of it and I like the staying power that these have. Another blush I picked up. <laughs> this is the Huda Beauty Blush Filter Liquid Blush. I picked up Watermelon Pop. I felt like out of all the shades, this was the one I would probably get the most wear of. There is a berry one. I just, I don't know. I feel some type of way about always having to get a berry to match my skin tone. So. I wanted something different. I don't normally wear dark, dark blushes. Um, this one definitely has more color payoff than the one I got from Cali Ray. It doesn't smell, I don't think, like watermelon. Mm, it has a fruity smell, but I don't think that's watermelon. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. Definitely has more color payoff. I don't think this one is advertising as a stain. But it does say it gives you a soft focus finish. So I was like, yeah, we can go ahead and try that since Huda's coming out with all this blur stuff. Let's blur and put a filter on our face. I picked up a lip kit. This is the Sephora Best Lip Combo. I picked the brown one up. There was a lighter one that was more of a nude. But this one comes with the Sephora Lip Liner in Molasses. And then it comes with one of their matte bullet lipsticks i know i love molasses i've had this in my collection before so i was like yep we can do that pretty much your staple brown girl friendly brown liner and then this is the lipstick so i think these two are going to go gorgeous together i did not wear it today because like i said i wanted something more of a red than a brown just to help kind of lighten since my eyes got so dark but I'm curious to see how the lipstick wears because I don't wear a lot of bullet lipsticks right now, but I really like the shade of that, especially for a winter combo. I had to pick up this set. Had to. It was out of stock. It came back and I jumped on it. This is the Danessa Myricks Forever Flush Blurring Balm Powder Flushed set. So there are four in here. There's two full size and then two minis. And this was $35. I have one of these shades already, but the other three I did not, so I thought this was perfect. The one I have is Jubilee, and I remember thinking when I bought it, like, this is just too light. I don't know why I did it, but it's my perfect everyday blush, flushed shade. So this one I will probably put in a giveaway since I have it already, and it'll be good for someone to try it if they don't. The next is Red Velvet. I don't have this one, and I was just like, that is so pretty. And you can also use these on your lips. So you know me, if I like something, I want more shades. This is Spiced Latte. I would have bought this by itself for $35. Perfect. Like, this is what I wanted on my cheeks today, and it took everything in my power not to use it. I should probably swatch these. Oh, God. Like this is just that every day, give yourself a little bit of a color on your cheeks. That, I don't know if you guys know this, if you care anything about makeup, a lot of people say they don't like to wear blush, but it is what makes your face look youthful. Like you don't want your face to be all one shade. You get overheated, you get flushed, you get that little color on your cheeks. Like that just looks so good. Stop not wearing blush. It looks good, put it on. Just don't put it on like a clown in a little circle. Um, this next one is Dancing Queen, which I also don't have. So this is a berry. I'm going to swatch her. Whew. That is gorgeous. I'm going to swatch Red Velvet too because I have not swatched that one yet. 
And I could go get Jubilee, but honestly, I feel like I've been talking forever. Oh, this is so pretty. So those are all very different shades. A few more products and we are almost done. This was kind of a splurge, not a splurge, but like an impulse buy. This is the Rare Beauty Fragrance Fine Comfort Hair and Body Fragrance Mist. I smelled it in the store. I had it in my cart online and then I smelled it in the store and I was like, you know what? Why not? Hair and body mist. Okay, I can't smell this right now. Super fine fragrance mist infused with biotin, niacinamide, and peach flower extract to revitalize your hair and body throughout the day with a fresh addictive scent. It smells good. It's different. Definitely different from anything I have in my collection. Hmm. I don't know. It was on sale half price, I think. It was like $16 and then 20% off. So I'm curious to see how that's going to work in my hair because it's not a dry shampoo. But the fact that it has biotin and niacinamide in it makes me think it's going to help to strengthen and also maybe moisturize a tiny little bit. So we'll see, but the smell is pretty good. And alcohol is not one of the first, first ingredients, so that's good. It should not be drying on the hair. Every time a Sephora has a sale, if they have a new fragrance set, I'm gonna pick it up. This is the Sephora Favorites fragrance set. This is the perfume sampler. So the way these work, $95, and you get little samples, and then you get a coupon to get a full size of one of these that you choose. I love getting these little things because I've said it before, I put those in my travel bag and it's a good way to try a bunch of different fragrances you may not have tried before. I saw that there was a Tom Ford fragrance on here and I was like, baby, for as much as Tom Ford costs, this being $95, getting 20% off and then getting a full size Tom Ford, which is way over a hundred dollars like what's the question and there's so many in here like this is a lot so i'm gonna run through these real quick oh there's another one so you have prada paradox which i thought about buying before so definitely still on the table i was gonna get this in the last set i bought the set for this and then i ended up smelling the versace Dylan Purple, I don't know if that's the real name of it, but it's the purple one and I ended up getting that instead. So maybe if I don't like the Tom Ford, here's the little coupon that you can either redeem online or bring in the store. I literally just found out this year that you can redeem them online. The next one is the Kayali Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. I can't smell anything right now. Candied pear, sweet violet, bubble gum, white caramel, rock sugar, and vanilla. So sounds sweet, not really up my alley. Although Bay loves sweet stuff on me, so I'll wear it for him, but I'm not buying this one. <laughs> I have enough other scents that he likes, but this one will be fun for like just a quick little sample. Who knows? If he says he likes something, I buy it and I wear it. So there's that. Um, this next one is Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. I don't like vanilla enough, but I have put this in my travel bag to use as a bathroom spray. <laughs> if we don't have anything else, this next one is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I have Valentino Volce Viva, and I love that one. Um, I've heard that this one smells really good, but I have not smelled it. So happy to have that. YSL Libre, I have this. Bay loves it, that's why I got it. And so I don't need to buy another one, but now I have one to put in my travel set. I was happy to see Charlotte Tilbury. This is the More Sex. I haven't smelled any of her fragrances, so I can't, oh, I can. I can kind of smell that. Um, This one says Harmony of Sandalwood, Spices, and Musk. So this one is a woody scent. Everybody, the ladies at the store were like, we don't like any of her stuff. So I don't know, probably not going to use it for that, but I'm glad I can try that. This is Burberry Her. I have a travel size of this. I wore this on my wedding day. That's how much I love it. So glad to have a small one to put in my travel bag. 
This is Caroline Herrera Good Girl Blush. I feel like anytime something says blush, I love it. Every single time. I've been looking at her fragrances because I don't have any. So I'm curious to try this one out. It says bergamot and bitter almond, lang lang peony, and then tonka bean. It's an ambery floral. So love, love scents that have amber in them. So I feel like I'm going to love this one. Next, Tom Ford Cafe Rose. I can't smell this through here, but I feel like I smelled it in the store because they had it and I didn't like it. Now, the thing with Tom Ford for me, I will spray it, I will smell it and think it smells like trash, all of them. And then I will leave and two hours later it smell it on me and I'm like, what is that? It smells so good. So I know I'm gonna have to spray it, let it dry down and wear it for me to decide if I'm getting it or not because the initial always smells bad. Next, Balinese Coconut. I'm not going to buy this, but again, good to have something different. Gucci Flora Gorgeous Magnolia. Not going to buy, but there's that. English Pear and Freesia. I don't think I have this one. I know I've smelled it. It's okay, but not going to get that one either. Killian Princess. I have this, I think. I'm pretty sure. Ginger, green tea, and marshmallow. No, I don't have this. Oh, no. Huh. This actually, okay. I might have to try that because I think I like that and it smells different than anything I have. So maybe that Fenty. I have two bottles of this, y'all, and I don't love it. I got swept up in the hype of everybody talking about how great it was. I bought it. First time I wore it, I was like, yeah, this isn't bad. And then it went on sale. And when I had my collection in two different states, I bought one for my other location. And now I have two. And I don't love it. So I don't know. I may try to sell one. Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I never was a huge fan of this. It's okay, but I'm not picking this one. And then Replica Lazy Sunday Morning. I've been trying to get into the replica fragrances so bad and I've smelled all of them that they have in Sephora and just, I have not found one that just hits me in the feels. It makes me feel like I need to have it yet. Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I already have a full size of this. This was the first Juliet fragrance that I got. I also have um, not a perfume pair. That one is my favorite. Like love, love that one, y'all. Fleur Missing Person. I don't know what it is. I love how this smells. And I want it. My issue is it is soft. And I don't feel like it lasts very long. But it smells so good. This is like... one. I wore it during the daytime. And I was just like, this is so warm and sensual and like sexy. Like I need to wear this at night. Or I need to wear it to bed. Like that's how good it smells. So I'm probably going to buy this. But because it's a less expensive one, I'm not using my coupon for that. I'm using my coupon for the one I like the most that costs the most. So I can get the most bang for my buck. The last thing I want to show y'all because I have it on today. It's not from Sephora, but I just feel like I need to talk about it because it is going to be in this Sephora video. This is, I have on Cluster Lashes today from the brand Moxie Lash. So this, I saw on Instagram and they were talking about, this is their nano grip technology, completely glueless. You just stick it under your eyelash and you go. So I picked up their starter kit that came with four sets of clusters and then a half lash and then the remover. Yes. So this one is in Lady, which I was like, yep, I can see myself wearing that. Nice and wispy. This is in Savvy, which is a little more spiky. But again, I was like, I think I can get away with wearing that. This one is thicker and I feel like I would have to wear this more with a glam look versus just every day. This is in Sultry. This is the Half Lash and this is not self-adhesive. So they did send a little sample of the lash glue with it, but this is their Baby Lash. And it says use it with their Nano Grip Eyeliner. And then the ones I have on today are zesty. I feel like, okay, I struggled. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I struggled putting these on 
because their little applicator, I don't like it. I don't know. I had trouble keeping it squeezed closed. Um, but when I put it on and I squeezed to make it stick to my eyelashes, it stuck to the applicator. So when I went to peel it off, it took the lash off. So the only way I could get these on was I would place it with a different applicator that I like, and then I would squeeze it with my fingers. And that's how I got them to stick. I do feel like this is giving the look of like a super wispy lash extension. But then again, I've never had lash extensions. So if you have, and you think that's what these look like, you agree with me, <laughs> comment and let me know. But once I got them on, I was like, yes, like I don't feel these, I can sleep in these. And it says you can wear them more than once. Like I still feel sticky under my lashes though. That's the only thing. But they're on, they're not going on, going anywhere. And they say you can wear them multiple times. So we'll have to see about that. It didn't say like, don't wear this without makeup. If you're supposed to put mascara on or not, I got their mascara, which is their Extend Ma Mascara. And I do believe that I saw this and said that this was supposed to help your lashes grow, but I could be wrong. I don't know, but I decided to just try it because I swear I feel like it's not a tubing, but it's supposed to help lengthen all that good stuff. So I was just like, you on the website, you got a coupon, go ahead and try it. And then the kit also came with their lash glue. Well, this is a makeup remover. And it's infused with hyaluronic acid and castor oil for a boost of hydration and glow. So it erases waterproof and long wear makeup without stripping your skin of natural moisturizers. I guess you can use it for the lashes, but this is supposed to be for your whole face. I only use stuff like this on my eyes because they don't give me enough to use it on my whole face. And then the last thing in the box is it came with this cute little bag. So like I said, I had trouble initially putting these on but I love how they look so that is it for my haul I feel like I've been talking forever because there is literally it's been an hour this will be fun to edit but I had a lot of stuff I wanted to share I hope you guys enjoyed the haul if you did give the video a thumbs up comment and let me know what do you think about the face I know y'all probably want to comment about my foundation shades so let me hear it down below let me know what you think let me know if you have any of this stuff. Did you shop the sale? Talk to me. I love hearing from you guys. If you're new, I hope you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.